Ubuntu Mate has a tweak tool, which has been well publicized, that lets you choose between different desktop configurations just by clicking on one or the other. However, you can also do your own tweaks. Basically, I like the default configuration, but I'd like to point out the different menus that are available. I'm going to right-click on the top panel and click on Add to Panel. Now here's the GNOME main menu. I'm going to add that. Here's the main menu. I'm going to add that. Here's the Mate menu. I'm going to add that. And here's the menu bar. I'm going to add that. I'm going to close this. If you notice, the menu bar is actually what comes by default. It's the traditional three-part GNOME menu. Applications, places, and systems. And of course, this is the same thing, applications, places, and system. So I'm going to delete that for now since we already have it. The one in the middle is the main menu. It has one main heading. And if you notice, places and system are included as part of the main menu. Otherwise, it works very much like the other menu. Open the calculator. Like the menu bar, it has no place for a type to search. The one on the left is actually the Mate menu as it was introduced by Linux Mint Mate. It's a little more complicated than the other menu, but it has a search function. When you go to applications, everything is categorized. The only disadvantage when you have an enclosed menu like this is that you have to scroll up and down occasionally. Now the, you can go to favorites, but I prefer to keep it on all applications. And if you right click on it, you can see the preferences. You notice here there's an option to always start with the favorites pane. And I have found, for instance, in Linux Mint that that is often the way it is set up. But here it is unchecked, and I prefer to leave it unchecked because I prefer to go directly to applications. Now, the one on the right is the so-called GNOME menu. It has a search bar, too. However, it doesn't actually search for applications, it only searches for files. So that's not very useful. Applications, documents, places, now, if you want to see more applications, click on that, and it opens up one of these arrays of icons.
I don't particularly like that, but if it's your cup of tea, it's available. I wouldn't delete the default application until I had other choices in place, because it might be rather difficult to do anything. However, I'm going to delete it now, remove from panel, and I'm going to use this main menu, and I'm going to click on move, and move it over here to the far left. So now, that's my default menu style. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.